And in here I keep all my bits and bobs. Um, yeah, I really do keep all kinds of little things like here. Keep a little spray diffuser. Um, and a lot of the art stuff that I have is actually stuff that I rescued um, from my old school because for some mad reason they decided that they didn't need half the art stuff so obviously the logical thing to do when that happens is to try and burn it so I saw them chucking all this stuff on the bonfire and I was like this is mad that's got to be about 400 quids worth of art supplies so I just grabbed as much stuff as I could before they set fire to it um, and that's where a lot of the cards um, and a lot of the oil paints that I have come from um, it was just mad. Why would you burn? I mean, even if you don't need it, give it to someone who can. And I just couldn't believe it. It was just the most insane waste of art supplies and money. So I just grabbed and saved as much of it as I could. Um, here are some of my old um, Chinese paintbrushes. I used to do so much of this stuff before I started uh, university. But then once I started university, I didn't really have time. So these are all my old Chinese calligraphy brushes. Um, and then I've got things like sandpaper sheets. Um, oh, that shouldn't be here. Um, this is one of my uh, calligraphy pens. Um, soapstone, which used to have um, <laughs> the very first little logo that I did. And I need to sand this down and do it all over again. Um, elastic band for my masquerade masks. Um, this one I've used in, what did I use it in? I think I used this one in a few DIY tutorials and there's quite a few more DIY tutorials I want to use this in. Um, old quilling paper. Oh, this is where I keep um, all my calligraphy pen nibs. I like having things in little boxes because I just find it's a lot easier to store things and keep things neat if you do that. And it's just such a cute little case. <laughs> So that's my bits and bobs drawer. In here I keep all my oil paints. Now I don't like oil paints, they tend to give me a really bad reaction um, and they're just not a medium I particularly like. But pretty much all of these paints are paints that I saved from my old school. I'd rather have it than it being burnt because who knows I might meet someone who prefers oil paints and then I can give that to them. Or, and I do want to get into oil paints because it's definitely got a lot of pros. Um, but the thing is that when I start painting something, I don't like to leave it. I like to just work on it solid until it's finished. And obviously with oil paints, you can't do that. But I would like to try and get into oil paints a lot more. So that's one of the reasons I got these, actually. Because um, I thought, okay, I can't work on anything big like I like to. But maybe if I paint on something small, I can get into oil paints. Um, and these are my pastels. I went through a phase when I was about um, 14, 15, where I was completely obsessed with pastels. Um, these I found in a charity shop for £1.50. So I was like, they're mine. Um, they haven't really gotten much use out of them. I think I got a little bit of use out of this colour. Um, but again, it's something I'm hoping to get into. Um, this set is one that I saved from my old art school and I did actually use this one quite a lot in my art A-levels as you can see. Um, and I like these, uh, they've got a very different texture, they're a lot um, more chalky than the other ones. These ones you have to be a little bit more abusive with them. Um, but I really do love this little set and yeah, I love it when you see things like this because when I see something like this I'm like yes, that's that's gotten use out of it. That's I like to see that I don't like seeing new art supplies because they just look abandoned and like like they kind of use me please <laughs> so I prefer seeing things like this. These two were given to me for my birthday and I think my parents got these from Aldi. Um, I don't know what it is with me in the colour black but it's one of those colours I'm always using a ton of. I always keep some cotton buds because they're really good for blending pastels and something else that people don't think of using too much. I really hate the sponge tip applicators that you get with makeup but they're fantastic for blending pastels so if you like pastels don't chuck these they're really good and they're really good for blending um, any kind of charcoal, pencil, pastels um, so I always keep things like this because you can always use it for art supplies. In here I've got all my sculpting tools, little knives, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is what this is my, one of my favourite things to use. I got this one, I think, in Lidl. And you can also get them on Amazon, the exact same set. Um, and these are all um, my craft knives. And it's just a really good little set because you've got all these different kind of shaped blades. Um, and sometimes when you're cutting something that's quite small and delicate, like the um, lace mask that I did, um, you might need something which is kind of smaller like this so that you can cut with it. 
I don't really use um, this one too much because the handle's just too big and I like to be able to have my finger as close to the blade as possible because you've got a lot more control. Um, so I prefer the more pencil shaped blades. Um, in here I've got, um, these are clay tools um, for just kind of sculpting and modeling and all that kind of stuff. Um, and one of the things that I really love using for sculpting is, um, these are for cake decorating, but they're fantastic for just, because they've got all these different little ends, um, especially things like this for doing modeling. They're, it's just really handy to have little shapes and little tools like this. And I think I got this entire set for about 99p, possibly two pounds off eBay. Um, and they're just a really good little set to have. Another one of my favourites um, are these stainless steel ones, and I think I got these off Amazon. Um, and again, I've lost a few of them, which I don't know how I've managed to do. Um, but I get a lot of use out of these, and they're just really solid. They're not going to break unless you're an absolute animal with them. Um, and they're just one of those tools that I use quite a lot now. And in here, I just keep all my airbrush stuff. I've always got two spare guns. Um, and yeah, this is just really where I keep all my, my um, spare airbrush stuff. Um, and here I keep all the things like my pencils, charcoal. Um, these are all my graphite pencils. And these are all ones that I've gotten from the works. Um, I've always got a few spare putty wrappers. <laughs> But the funny thing is that now I don't like using them that much. I prefer using blue tack. Um, I don't know why, I just prefer it. But you never know when you're going to run out of blue tack. So I've always got um, a few spare putty rubbers. Um, and I've also got a couple of spare pencil stubs. And I should do a video really on all the different kinds of blending. Because there's so many different techniques that a lot of people don't realise you can use. Um, and these are really good for blending and I really love using these for kind of small blending like kind of highlights in the hair, around the eyes, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I prefer the smaller ones but I haven't been able to find um, anywhere for the moment that I can get um, a large set of just the small blending stubs. Uh, so yeah, these are all my blending stubs. And this is um, one of the reasons that you have something like this, because once the end goes blunt, um, you can't really sharpen these with a sharper or a craft knife. You could, but it wouldn't be very easy. Um, so what you use is you use something like this, um, which is just, it's like a little wooden piece with very fine sandpaper on it. Um, and that's how you sharpen these. Um, and then I've got some of my old calligraphy pens, um, and I've got a few of these, and believe it or not, I used to have about four more, but I finished them. Um, and I think I got these, there was a sale in Muji, um, and I use these a lot, so I just got four of them because I'm always losing stuff. Um, and these are just beautiful, they've got this lovely calligraphy nib, and they're just, yeah, they're just lovely. <laughs> And these are my favourites, and I haven't really used these um, particularly much, especially since I moved into the flat, um, because I'm really worried about getting the charcoal all over the carpet. And I use these so much when I was doing my A-levels, and I love them. It's just really relaxing to use charcoal, and I just, I love charcoal. It's such a beautiful colour, and it's a really interesting texture, and I really like using it on big canvases. And by big canvases, I mean like half the size of the wall. It's just so fun. This is one of my favourite drawers. This is where I keep all my Ward's colour paints. Um, and I've got quite a few spares. I've got these from the works. And because I go through my Ward's colours quite fast and I use them a lot, um, I got two sets of them. Um, they were £2, which when you consider how much the, um, the original brand cost, it's nothing. And I haven't noticed a terrible difference in quality, so I don't mind. It's cheaper. But I love these and I've always got spares because I really do use my Ward's colour paints a lot. Uh, this is the old set that I used to have. These are just the kid sets and I had this one, I think I got given this when I was 11 or 12-ish. These got quite a lot of use but then um, when I got this one, I think I got this one in WH Smith, they had a sale on. I use this set constantly and I just found that the paint quality was just so much better than the little kid set. So when I got this, I just didn't use these anymore but I still keep it because you never know if there's like a large area that I want to cover. Um, which doesn't really matter if the paint quality isn't amazing, then I use this one. 
Also, if I ever go travelling and I just want to bring one little art thing with me, I like to bring just my pencil and this, and it doesn't take up, you know, you can have this in your handbag, so it's a lovely little set. Um, and in here I have my watercolour pencils, um, and again, this was a set I was given when I was about 12, 13. These last three drawers are less interesting, but they're kind of important because without them you can't do any of the other stuff. Um, and this is where I keep all my non-white papers, so tracing paper, black card. Um, if any of you haven't tried drawing on black card, try it because it's like the complete opposite of drawing on white card. Instead of where on white card you work on the shades, uh, on the darker patches, with black card it's completely the opposite. You have to work on the highlights and it's really fun, especially if you just want to exercise and kind of working with a completely different method. Um, also in here I keep um, a lot of papers that I rescued from my old school that they had on the bonfire. Um, and I just keep a lot of black card because it's one of those things that I use quite a lot and I really like using it, so I always keep some of that. In here I keep all my canvases and um, watercolour paper, and I have quite a few of these. Um, this one I've practically finished. And I got these in a the sale as well. There was um, buy one, get one free, and it was already half price as it was, so I was like, mine. So in here I just keep all my um, canvas canvas cards. Um, and these I get from the works. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of my art supplies are from the works. And in here I just keep all my paper. Um, I've got the kind of thick white card. Um, and then some paper which is kind of slightly beigey but not so beigey that I'd put it in the non-white papers drawer. Um, and this is just where I keep all my white papers. This is my drawing station and this is one of the drawings that I did recently for the Seven Deadly Sins series. Um, this is the blue tack that I normally use for um, as a kind of replacement of the putty rubber. And I always keep that kind of stuck on this board. Here I keep some of my fine tip um, pencils, pens, sorry, um, and just kind of a standard pen. I always keep them in here, um, and I've got a few of my paintings, my favourite painting brushes. Um, and then over here I just have um, an old cashews jar holding all my larger paint brushes. Um, I always have a can of hairspray and it's really good for just setting things like pastels, pencils, um, especially charcoal. Um, so I always have a can of this. Um, here are some nail varnish, <laughs> not nail varnish. <laughs> These are some um, painting varnishes. I've got one in matte and I've also got one which is a modelling paste. Um, but I don't use these because I get a really bad reaction. Um, and that, well, I do use them, but that's one of the reasons I've got the um, gloves because if I get any of this on my skin, um, my skin just reacts so badly. It just completely swells up and it's like I've had some kind of really horrific um, animal bite reaction. Um, so I haven't used these in years. Um, there's hardly any of this left. And here I've got all my favourite um, paintbrushes. And as you can see, I like to do really fine detailed stuff. Um, and one of the things that I do is I buy nail art brushes off eBay because if you get um, some of the smaller detail brushes, like this one can cost you about £3 in Hobbycraft, but then if you get something like a nail art brush, you can get a set of eight for £2 off eBay. So that's what I do a lot. Um, again, these were also nail art brushes, but they're fantastic for watercolour and they cost half the price and they're still brushes, there's no difference. <coughs> Uh, and here I've just got my pencil case, um, and this tends to have bits and bobs like um, replacement blades for my scalpel knife. And I don't like having the non-clear pencil cases because what tends to happen is you're rummaging around for 20 minutes and then you finally find it or you find out it's not even in there. Um, so I like getting um, clear cosmetic cases from Sainsbury's. I think you can get a huge set for about £5 and it's four bags or something like that. And so some of them I use for when I'm travelling but this one I always use um, for my pencils because it's just a lifesaver. You can see what's in it. Um, there's no messing around. You can just see what's in it, grab it and it's just a really practical case and it's solid as well. Um, these are the mask and goggles that I use for when I'm painting. Um, not all paintings give me a reaction. I'm always fine with watercolours and acrylics. Anything like spray paint, 
anything that's uh, kind of aerosol based and hairsprays, they make my face puff up like crazy. And then over here, I've just got um, a ruler and this is really good for slicing papers. Let's say I need to cut a large paper. You just hold this down over the side, you run this along and it's got a little blade that just slices through it really neatly. And I used this a lot while I was at uni. Uh, a metal ruler. I don't like I don't like plastic rulers um, because they snap and then they bend and I tend to put my rulers through a lot of abuse so I prefer the metal ones because they last longer. So that's my art supply collection and storage. I hope you liked it. I hope you found a few interesting tips and tricks and um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>